It's getting chilly outside, and you know what that means? It's time for soup. And tonight I'm making homemade vegetable soup. And this is not just any homemade vegetable soup. This is my mother-in-law's homemade vegetable soup. And I can guarantee, guarantee, that you have never had vegetable soup like this. It's a recipe that she shared with me over 20 years ago, and it is the only way that I now make vegetable soup. So hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm in the kitchen tonight because it's chilly outside and I want some homemade vegetable soup. It started to get cool outside last week and my husband said, yep, yep, it's time for soup. And I said, you know what, you are right. So that's what I'm making tonight and I cannot wait to share this recipe with you. This is a family recipe. It is my mother-in-law's recipe and it is the only way that any of us in the family now make homemade vegetable soup. It has one secret ingredient and I can guarantee you that the secret ingredient is gonna blow your mind and you will never go back to making vegetable soup with ground beef or steak or chunks of roast or any of those things in it because my vegetable soup or rather my mother-in-law's vegetable soup has bacon oh yeah i said bacon when i married my husband over 20 years ago i'd never had vegetable soup at my mother-in-law's i was actually sick i had a really bad cold and she invited us over for dinner and said my vegetable soup will make you better. I promise. Come on over. So I went over there. I'm all stuffed up. I couldn't smell anything. And I go in and I see her making this huge pot of vegetable soup. And the whole time my husband is saying, oh, you're going to like this. You're going to like this. I promise you're going to like this. And I sit down to a big bowl of vegetable soup with bacon in it. I have never heard of vegetable soup with bacon. I always have had it with big chunks of steak or beef. Well, let me tell you what. When I sat down to this vegetable soup, my mind was blown and I eat it no other way. And that very night, my mother-in-law gave me her vegetable soup recipe and that was it. It's a done deal. I can't even imagine eating vegetable soup the other way and it's all about the bacon, y'all. So let me tell you what you need for your vegetable soup. It is so easy. You just need three regular old potatoes. We're gonna peel them and dice them up into little bitty chunks. You need two cans of mixed vegetables. Now, I prefer the Del Monte mixed vegetables because there are no potatoes in here. I wanna add my own potatoes. That's why I prefer this one. It's just peas and carrots and lima beans and green beans. If you don't wanna use your own potatoes, feel free to buy the other brand that has potatoes in it. I just think it's so much better with my own potatoes. You need one package of bacon and we're gonna make this so crispy and perfect and delicious. You need real butter. We're gonna use just a dab of real butter in our vegetable soup. And vegetable soup is all about the tomato products you use. And I only use homemade canned tomatoes and tomato juice. I know, I'm spoiled. Most people do not have access to homemade canned tomatoes that were grown in a garden beside your house and you don't have the sweet mother-in-law that I do that cans tomato juice and actual tomatoes. I know this. So at your grocery store, you can simply get tomato juice. Make sure it has no salt or pepper or seasonings added to it. It's just 100% tomato juice. You're gonna need four cups and for the tomatoes, again, you need four cups. And you can get any brand. Just look on the label. It will say whole peeled tomatoes. Again, you might see a variety that's going to have seasonings or basil or salt and pepper. You don't want that. You simply want whole peeled tomatoes that are unflavored and four cups worth. So I'm using a Dutch oven to make my vegetable soup. You can use a big pot or a Dutch oven, but I have it on the stove. It's getting warm so that when my potatoes are cut up, my Dutch oven is hot and ready for me. I'm just chopping up my potatoes into bite-sized little cubes. My husband likes to have big pieces of potato and little pieces of potato. So I don't worry about getting them uniform. I'm just gonna cut up three large potatoes into bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of real butter into my Dutch oven add my potato and saute those for just about four to five minutes until they begin to get soft. And then we're gonna add 
our mixed vegetables from two cans, including all the juice in the can and all of our tomato products. I don't salt and pepper the soup. You could put a little bit of hot sauce in there if you wanted to. I don't like hot sauce in mine, but my husband does, so he always adds the hot sauce to his bowl instead of me adding it to the soup itself. You're gonna bring your soup up to a really good simmer and cook it with the lid just askew. You want a little bit of the steam from the soup to escape so that it will thicken the soup slightly, but you don't want it all to escape and all of your soup to disappear. So just put your lid slightly askew, keep it on a pretty good simmer for about 40 minutes or so until your potatoes are soft and tender. And meanwhile, we're gonna cut up our bacon into very small bite-sized pieces, and we're gonna cook our bacon in a skillet until every piece of bacon is perfectly crisp. Remove it from the skillet, drain any remaining bacon grease onto a paper towel, and just set your bacon to the side. So while my soup is simmering away and my bacon is cooking, I'll tell you a couple secrets, a couple tips. If you will put your package of bacon in the freezer about 10 minutes before you need it, it'll harden up just a little bit and it just makes it so much easier to cut. Your knife will just glide right through it. And after you're finished with your bacon, don't you dare discard that bacon grease. You better keep it and put it in your green beans. The next time you make green beans on your stovetop, a dab of bacon grease in your green beans, that is the secret. So this is my little container just for bacon grease. I've probably had this about 15, 16 years for sure, and it's empty. Every time we make green beans, the bacon grease goes in the green beans, and we do it for cornbread too. So after I get all of my bacon out of the skillet, I'm gonna let the grease cool down just a little bit, and I'm gonna fill up my little container. This is like liquid gold, you all, liquid gold. So I'm waiting on my husband to get home. And like I said, this is gonna cook for probably 45 minutes. The true test is when the potatoes are tender, just the way you like them. So when you get to that point, you're gonna add your crispy bacon that you have removed from the bacon grease into the soup. Let it cook for another two to three to four minutes. The fantastic flavor from that bacon will work its way through the soup and then put it in a bowl and serve it. It is that simple. But I wanna tell you something before my husband gets home. Because when he's home, I don't wanna talk about him. I'll show you what he's doing. But everybody in my husband's family eats their vegetable soup with a certain side accompaniment. And it is not what you would think. It is something I have never to this day seen people eat with their vegetable soup. But every single one of my husband's brothers and sisters, his mom, his dad, they all eat this with their vegetable soup. And back to my story, when my mother-in-law invited me over for, for vegetable soup because I had a cold and I sat down at the table with soup with bacon in it, which was a completely new thing to me to begin with. And then all my in-laws started preparing their side dish. I just sat there with my jaw dropped. It was such a sight. And to this day, they still eat this with their vegetable soup. It's just weird. It's something that I just can't eat with my vegetable soup. But it's so funny because my two daughters will eat it with their vegetable soup. I guess they've grown up eating this with their soup and so it's normal to them. But to me, it's just a little bit strange. I have my own side thing that I want with my soup. And when my husband gets home and we sit down to eat our soup, I'm not gonna say anything but I'm gonna show you exactly what he does or prepares to get ready to eat his soup. So let this simmer away and oh my goodness, you should smell my house right now. <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited. We don't make soup all summer long. We don't make soup in the spring. It is a fall and winter thing only. That's it. And so it's cooled down and this is now soup season. And another thing my family does it's a terminology that you all need to know. You've probably heard me say it on my channel before, but it's called a match set. And what that means is there are certain meals that have matching desserts that you always have with the meal. Vegetable soup always has banana pudding. So when I went over to my mother-in-law's earlier this week to pick up the canned tomatoes and the tomato juice, she had actually made vegetable soup earlier in the week for her and my father-in-law. And of course she said, 
are you making a match set with this, Renee? And I said, well, we're eating low carb, so I really can't make the banana pudding. She's like, what in the world? She made a match set for her and my father-in-law, the banana pudding, homemade banana pudding, done the old school way. And certain meals that my in-laws make, there's just a match set with it. So I'll have to share with you all one day how to make banana pudding, which is the match set always to vegetable soup. So my soup is ready, it's time to eat, and now we're gonna get out our fixings for the side of our soup. I'm somebody that just wants plain old crackers with a little bit of butter on them, but when I told you my husband and his family have a secret side dish accompaniment to their soup, and so he's gonna start preparing his plate for the soup. So this is what he does, but I wanna know from you in the comments below, what do you eat with your soup? Are you a regular cracker eater? Do you like oyster crackers? Do you like nothing? Like, tell me, what do you normally eat with your soup? Oh, something else I wanna know from you about the match set. Do you want me to show you how to make old school banana pudding the old way, in a double boiler, no pudding mixes, no cheats, the original, this is how you make really good banana pudding recipe, that's the match set for vegetable soup. And if you want me to show you how to do it, leave it in the comments and give this video a thumbs up because I enjoyed cooking with you. I hope you enjoyed cooking with me and YouTube loves it when you give a video a thumbs up. Mm, that is a hot bowl. So thanks for joining me in the kitchen. So now you know how to make my mother-in-law's delicious homemade vegetable soup. Let's eat.